the top 10 most deadly weapons throughout history. Now, this list will look at weapons from throughout history instead of just weapons available today. Otherwise, this would just be a list of guns. Now then, number 10 on this list is the A-bomb. Why a nuke at number 10? Well, because it's too obvious of a choice, number one. Technically, there are many other much more powerful nukes out there today, but the A-bomb was the only one actually used in a war, and hopefully stays that way. Now, number nine is the Scythe Chariot. Now, it's not really the most deadly weapon out there, even for medieval times, but it was a pretty cool one. The Scythe Chariot was pulled by a team of four horses and manned by a crew of up to three men, one driver and two warriors. Theoretically, the Scythe Chariot would plow through infantry lines, cutting combatants in half, or at least opening gaps in the line which could be exploited later. Number eight on this list is the Gatlin Gun. The Gatlin gun is one of the first machine guns, and had its first use in the American Civil War. Although, it wasn't used very long, as it was too effective at just mowing down hundreds of men at a time. Number 7 is the Longbow. Regular bows were used in wars for thousands of years, but the Longbow was revolutionary and often called the machine gun of the Middle Ages. The longbow allowed very accurate, long-range shots that could pierce a knight's armor, ending the age of knights. Even guns couldn't beat it for both range and rate of fire until the mid-19th century. Number 6 is the M1 Garand. Its semi-automatic fire mechanism not only gave the US soldier the ability to attain a much higher volume of fire compared to the single-shot, bolt-action small arms of the rest of the World War II's combatants, but also delivered excellent accuracy. Its excellent design directly influenced the famous M16 and the iconic AK-47. Speaking of which, number five is the AK-47. The AK-47 assault rifle came about during World War II where the Nazi army was the first to field them in great quantity. It was desirable because it was cheap to make, requires little to no training, and could be used in terrible weather conditions. Currently, it has become the world's most effective combat weapon and killing machine in history, according to many people and experts. Number four is the napalm bomb. A napalm bomb can reach temperatures of up to 2200 degrees and is made from petroleum jelly. It was originally designed to destroy buildings and is essentially a high burning liquid, but was later used in the firebombing of Japan and Vietnam. Later, magnesium was added to ensure that greater harm would be made on the enemy by making the burns worse when water was added. Then lead was added to make the bombs poisonous. You definitely don't want to be around one of these when they drop. Number three is the Maxim Gun. The Maxim Gun is an improved version of the Gatling Gun, which was water-cooled, belt-fed, and could be fired for hours continuously. During 1893 Montebel's War, a group of only 50 British soldiers were able to beat a tribe of over 5,000 men with Maxim Guns, with very few casualties. The Maxim Gun was a staple of the First World War and directly led to trench warfare and the innovation of the tank. Number two on this list is the first widely spread chemical warfare agent, mustard gas. Mustard gas might not be immediately lethal by itself, although it does cause a lot of terrible things to happen to your body in the meantime, because people exposed to mustard gas rarely suffer immediate symptoms, and mustard-containing areas may appear completely normal. Victims can unknowingly receive high dosages. Within 24 hours of exposure to mustard gas, victims experience intense itching and skin irritation, which gradually turns into large blisters filled with yellow fluid whenever the mustard gas agent contacted the skin. Mustard gas was more widely used in World War I and saw very little use after. And finally, number one, the flintlock, or wheel lock slash matchlock guns. The single shot and first guns ever used in war, replacing pretty much every other weapon traditionally used as an army of single shot, one minute long reload guns could destroy an army of people using swords and bows. The flintlock in particular was much more effective than the wheel lock and matchlock, as it was inexpensive and more reliable, and a staple of European armies for over two centuries. And that's it for the top 10 most deadly weapons throughout history. There are obviously a lot of other weapons that I didn't list, some much more deserving a space on this list. So, 
feel free to list those in the comments.